Hello, I'm Paola Caroni and I'm reading you um, a poem from my collection on Charlotte Waters, uh, which is one of the two winners of the Proverbs Prize 2020. The poem is called Ashes Over the Mekong and it was inspired by a trip I took in Laos. Um, and during this boat trip um, along the Mekong River, uh, we suddenly noticed that uh, there were um, ashes falling from the sky. And this was due to the land clearance that uh, periodically happens and the burning also of the forests. Ashes over the Mekong. The boat slowly skims the lazy river, a mirror darkened by a burdened sky. The sun hides behind the foggy curtain. The profiles of the mountains blur as if scanned by short-sighted eyes. There's a temple inside a cave. Darkness shelters Buddha sitting and standing next to the golden leaves of a body tree. Marigolds strung into necklaces on cones of banana leaves hold long red incense sticks. Their cinders, coy like dying caterpillars, hesitate. A thin line of smoke fills the grotto and then visits the open space. Ash, like burned joss paper, falls from high and rests on our heads as the journey from Luan Prabang goes on. The silent banks, silvery green, in the gloom of the day, hug the fishermen's boats. Whirlpools of foaming bubbles float and muddy, grassy whiffs blend with the smell of woods ablaze. We move with tearing eyes and itchy throats in the still flow of a landscape that demands fresh winds and rain. Hills, tired old crops, lush forest, merciless denuded, cheering in relentless destruction, immolated, not to please angry spirits, but hungry, but hungry neighbors. Cremated like bodies, awaiting rebirth, their powdery bits now touch our hair, claiming their due space on earth, their eerie on the cliffs, their lair under the water. Thank you.